Welcome back to the final day's coverage of the FAI Sailplane Grand Prix being held in Horsham, Australia. The weather today, coupled with the reality of our pilots having to pack up a glider at the end of the competition, resulted in a shorter task for the day, with a total distance of 157 kilometres via Rapanyup, Minyup and north of Dimbula before returning home. We had an earlier first launch today, and today our pilots had to contend with a significant crosswind on launch. This was handled expertly, with all 14 competitors getting away quickly, and the start line opening at 20 minutes past two. Pilots were able to complete the course in short order, with the winner crossing the line in only one hour and 10 minutes, with an average speed of 133.2 kilometers an hour. Now let's hand over to Tim Shirley to talk us through this race. Through the start line, the group were together and then made a very rapid run downwind to the first waypoint. The only glider who was really lagging behind a little was Brian Daru in Lima, Quebec. Everyone else was together. Up the second leg, once again, very quick run, and still everyone is together. Again, Brian Daru just behind a little, and Peter Temple pushing out in front momentarily. Later in the second leg, Brett Hunter in, in Victor Zulu got out a little bit ahead, but the group all came together at the top turn point and then were pretty much together down the final leg with David Jansen in Four Delta and Jeff Brown in Kilo Golf coming in first and second. As we saw, the winner of the day was Jeff Brown with David Jansen taking second place and Andrew Georgeson coming in third. With today's winner now decided, the overall winner of the Sailplane Grand Prix Heat in Australia is Jeff Brown from Australia. Mark Tingey from New Zealand came second and Sean Fiddler from the USA took out third place. Tim sat down with Jeff who won the day and the overall competition. Congratulations on today's win Jeff. Thanks Tim. Um, it uh, looked pretty fast and furious out there. I think that actually was a pretty good description, fast and furious. It was sort of uh, you know, a quick, short, short task. Good thermals, you know, there was six, seven knots, knots there a lot of the time and everybody was pushing really hard. So it was almost like trying to keep up with the pack the entire day. Were you with the pack the whole day? I, uh, I didn't get a great start, but sometimes that's not a, not a disadvantage in this, this competition. So it was sort of, uh, oh, maybe mid-pack for the, for the first leg and sort of just pushed along and there was a little bit of streeting uh, because you know there's 25 knots of breeze and if you could actually use the air a little bit better you sort of got, mm. got, got ahead sort of slowly by doing a bit of that. Were you very conscious of the of your overall position in the competition and, and lo looking out for your immediate rivals and so forth? Well yeah I, I was in fact because uh, Sean, Sean and I were together probably for uh, a fair bit of the second second leg, so you, we were almost covering each other there for a little while. So uh, it, it, it's a quite a different format, which uh, which makes it makes it interesting on the last day because I think there was about five or six people that could have won won the competition today. Yes, it was very close, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, in terms of, um, also, I should congratulate you on your overall win in the, uh, in, in, in the South Lane Grand Prix. Um, what what are your impressions overall of, of the, the competition and the format? I uh, I quite like the the format. It's uh, uh, the races, you know, below 300 kilometres is is quite a nice nice sort of race, and it's it feels more like you're racing other people than, than a normal competition, and you, you've got that immediate feedback mm. as you're coming on the final glide as to how how you've gone for the day. Mm. Um, okay, H how do you feel? Um, I, I I guess winning this event against some very tough competition. Um, obviously you've taken a bit of a step up in your flying in, in, in recent times and uh, uh, that's very pleasant, pleasing to see. Yeah, I, it's, it's quite funny. I, I, I was reflecting the last time I uh, won a competition was actually 1979. <laughs> and uh, probably the last time I did 200 hours in a glider was 1979 as well. So uh, that's, I, I've had uh, a lot of good comp uh, competitive flying this year since I got the JS1 and uh, it's a beautiful glider and I love it and I've got that sort of magic 200 hours in it so I've got a good feel in it now and yeah, it, I feel very confident in it. Excellent. Well we'll look forward to uh, many more uh, successes in the, in the future for you. Hopefully. Thanks Tim. Okay. And congratulations again. Thank you. 
And finally, thanks to all of our sponsors for assisting us in making this event possible. And thank you so much for watching our coverage of the SGP Australian Grand Prix. The next heat of the Sailplane Grand Prix is being held in Orlando in the United States of America, starting on the 26th of March. Tune back in then for more action from the FAA Sailplane Grand Prix.